everybody, welcome back. I got Giuliano here again. Hey. Uh, it's Kara's son. That name seems to run in the family. <laughs> so don't get confused. This is her son, not her brother. Yeah. Okay, anyway, uh, he's the guy, as you know, that made the wild berry, the, the one that makes everything taste sweet. We're going to give you a demonstration here of just how wonderful that and, and useful that is without using any sugar. We're going to make some lemonade, but better lemonade than normally what people do when they make lemonade is they just take a lemon and they squeeze the juice out, which is just basically sugar water, exactly. and then they drink it with a lot of sugar. But the and they consider that healthy. Yeah, the best part of the lemon is actually the outside, the rind and the pith, the white part. That's called, that's where the bioflavonoids are. Bioflavonoids are so important. They're like the most healthy part of the lemon. Bioflavon well, first of all, lemons have a lot of vitamin C and potassium and of course fiber, but the bioflavonoids is where the real power is. For those of you who don't know what bioflavonoids are, they're anti-inflammatory, and a lot of times they work even better than prescription anti-inflammatories. Uh, they're antimicrobial, they're part of the vitamin C complex, bioflavs prevent arteries from hardening, they help make blood vessels strong, and it supports collagen, that's what the women like to hear. <laughs> they hold connective tissue together, they lessen bruising, internal bleeding, hemorrhaging, swelling, spider veins, varicose veins, they lower cholesterol, they stimulate bile production, anything bitter, like I said, bitter stuff helps your digestion, helps your liver. Bile also helps emulsify and break down fats in your body. So it's amazing what the lemon does. It does so many things. It helps with an inflammation, infections, it slows cataract formation, it helps prevent diabetic retinopathy. Um, now, the important thing is the body cannot make this stuff. It cannot make bioflavonoids. You have to get it from natural fresh foods. The lemon is one of the best sources of that. And when you peel the lemon and throw the peel away, you're throwing away everything I just said. So, we're going to show you how to consume an entire lemon. Yes, seeds and everything. And the seeds are super powerful. There's a lot of good stuff in the seeds too. So, we're going to have the whole lemon. And we're going to make this so it actually tastes sweet like lemonade. That's where the wild berry comes in. Or you there can get we it go. At, or you can get it at marcusberry.com. Um, here's some single packs. Yeah, Best so. price at Marcus Berry. Yeah, we got some single packs on the website, but you'll probably want to go to Marcus Berry and get them anyways because they're that good. So here's how you do it, for those of you who don't know. You take the berry, either half of one or a whole one. The seed's already been taken out. It's freeze-dried. And you just put it in your mouth. Don't just swallow it right away. You gotta chew it up and get it all over your mouth, especially the front of your tongue. Coat the front of your tongue with the stuff, swish it around. It'll kind of dissolve on its own. It, it dissolves quick, so try not to let it go down your throat. Keep it towards the front of your mouth because it's gonna to wanna to migrate back and just disappear. Right, and that's the key to this whole thing. You gotta do this before, don't just throw it in with the drink. You gotta, you gotta activate the taste buds See, this, this berry, it, it coats the, your taste buds with this substance. Glycoprotein. Glycoprotein, a substance that makes everything taste sweet for the next half hour, as long as there's a little bit of acid in the mix. So, do that first. So now the tongue's ready to go. So here's our lemon. Check this out, ready? Whoa, how complicated is that? <laughs> no sugar, no anything. Just gonna put it in this little gadget here. Looks like milk. It does look like milk. <laughs> so now I know a lot of you, now anybody who's done this before and just drank it like this, know how bitter this is. If you don't believe me, why don't you do a test? Drink some of this first before putting the berry in your mouth, then put the berry in your mouth, wait half a minute. Thank you. And then try this. It smells so lemony and sour already. My <laughs> mouth is just watering from the smell alone. Cheers. Wow, that's extremely sweet. That's insane. <laughs> if this was that nasty, I wouldn't have been drinking it. <clears throat> drinking it though. When you do that, the only thing that's in here is just a little bit of the, the uh, rind from the lemon. If you want to get it just super smooth, just put it through a strainer and you'll have the smoothest, sweetest lemonade. That is crazy sweet. So I'm, I'm just drinking the, <clears throat> I'm drinking my voice. What just happened? <clears throat> that sourness, it's, your tongue thinks it's sweet, but your throat is like, dude, that, what the hell did you just do? It tastes like lemonade though. I mean, this is amazingly sweet. <laughs> I just drank lemon rind. 
I just drank lemon seeds. It tastes like liquid liquid lemon pie or something. Yeah, it's like it's, it's like uh, it's like lemon pie. It, it's so amazing. Yeah. So now you can now of course mix dandelion greens or anything nasty and bitter with this. Yeah, that's a cool thing. You throw a lemon in there and anything you want to do, like you said, some dandelions, aloe vera, whatever. Or it's the like, powders, you know, exact, the, the nasty powders you don't like. Exactly. Some crazy gross powders. The, the Basically, the moral of the story is if you take a lemon or something acidic and just throw it in there, juice, uh, food, anything that you have, a smoothie like this, if you make some lemonade, it will taste so sweet you won't believe it. You'll be loving it. You'll It'll turn into your favorite thing as opposed to the thing that you dread every day to have. Yeah, and we had we, we put no sugar in this whatsoever. I can't even believe that. I swear. That's People insane. People say, well, how much sugar is in the berry? There's like hardly any There's sugar. zero grams of sugar There's in the zero berry. Zero sugar in the berry. It's a chemical reaction. It's not a sugar thing. Exactly. So it tricks your taste buds into thinking you're drinking lemonade. It changes the way your mind and your tongue communicate. That is so sweet. It is extremely sweet. Yeah, that, so. It's amazing. I'm shocked still, <laughs> and I've, I've been working with this for years. <laughs> so we just put a whole lemon in here with seeds and everything. Um, wow. And yeah, and it's it's so good for you. And and this is just one example. You can make all kinds of variations. You could use you could use oranges or or uh, grapefruit too, right? Absolutely, grapefruit, um, oranges, apple, lime, apple cider vinegar. Apple and cider it, vinegar. You just need a, that's the sick trick. You just need a little bit of acid, just a little bit, like like a half a teaspoon or yeah. a teaspoon or whatever. Super bitter cranberry juice. A lot of people oh, they yeah, say the yeah. doctor recommends that for all types of certain things, and yeah. uh, that super bitter, real pure cranberry juice is insane. It's impossible to drink by itself. But with the berry, it tastes like something right out of ocean spray with uh, tons of sugar. Does cranberry, does, do cranberries have acid in it? Or Actually, it? yeah. Apparently, they're really acidic. So you because don't need to add anything. No, nothing with cranberry juice. You just drink it down. It's still a little, like a little wow, powerful, but it tastes like a ton of sugar was added in with it. That's so. great. So. So there you go. Here's another option for sweetening your foods and making nasty stuff drinkable. And this isn't just tolerable. This is sweet. Yeah, so, it is. It's delicious. Yeah. It's like a dessert. I feel like I should be putting this in something else. Now, I'm not making money on this. I'm just kind of helping him get off the ground. And cheers. You know, and he's not making much money on it either. We're just we just want to get people out there to be healthy and eating healthy and drinking healthy things. So you can get it at uh, his site, which is natureswildberry.com, or you can get it at my site at Marcus Berry, M-A-R-K-U-S. I would recommend Marcus Berry because he's doing just such an amazing blessing service to everybody by marking at the price that he is. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, you, so. you get it cheaper at my site because I'm not making money on it. I'm just selling it for at cost of what it costs to make it because I'm trying to help, you know, get this thing out there. Um, amazing. Eat, eat your... Eat your lemons. Anything. Anything is good for you. Exactly. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. That is really good. I, I'm shocked at how sweet that is, really. <laughs> like, I, everything I said was no lie. Oh, yeah. Huh. And I love sour stuff. But, That's uh, great. Yeah, this is wild. This is way sweeter than lemonade. And that... <laughs> That rind in there, it just like rubs your throat. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'll just hang out of here for a while in the middle of your esophagus. <laughs> oh man. That is so cool, you just threw a freaking lemon in there. What an awesome video, yeah. oh my god. It's, that was, that was so it's cool. sweet though, it's so sweet. It is, it's sweet, it works. I wish they would have had that growing up, you know? Yeah. Parents just giving their kids lemonade like that. How did you consume an entire lemon? Exactly. And smile instead of make the lemon pucker face. Well, that gives you a little bit of energy too. Yeah. Your body's like, whoa. Now we're getting the bioflavonoids right now. We get some anti-inflammatory, some antimicrobial. Jack it out. Jack it out, man. Get to the chocolate. <laughs>